Today I'm going to introduce how to test Solidity, which is the programming language for Ethereum. Um, in this particular example, I'm going to introduce you to Truffle, and instead of doing a completely just normal basic example, I'm going to show you how to connect um, Truffle to a web app. Or more specifically, I'm going to show you an example that comes out of the box and you can download it on your computer as well. Um, so on this website right here um, is some instructions to use a Truffle box. And Truffle boxes, it's a pretty similar concept to you read a tutorial online and you're like, oh, download the code here and try it out yourself. Um, but if you worked with code before, you, you'll notice that like a lot of times your code's out to date, especially tutorial code. Um, you read something for a year ago and it's no longer um, in date. Um, so Truffle is a similar concept, like you download your tool and it'll pretty much like download code for you. Um, the nice thing about this is that it seems like Truffle is making some attempt to um, make sure the tutorial is up to date. So in this particular box, you can see that um, it was created in 2017, but it was updated like two days ago in 2021. So you get like a little more reliability on if your stuff works and that's like that just gives you a lot less frustration as a developer. Um, you don't want to be reading old code that no longer applies, like things get updated pretty quickly. Um, okay, with that, I'll get started. Um, so this is the page for the, the drizzle box. Um, and you have to follow some instructions. So it's kind of weird here, but we're going to start on step two to install Truffle. And that takes a little bit of time. So I'm just going to show you the output. So on my computer, I did right here, npm install um, global truffle, and this is the output, and then it just updated, and it worked. Um, and then the step after that says to use truffle unbox and do the drizzle unbox, um, and this is all the output for that, and then it worked. Um, the files aren't that big, but I think it does a lot of validation checks, which makes the download take a while, um, so just be patient with that. Um, Drizzle, which I should introduce before, is pretty much a way to use React with um, Solidity, so that you, you could use you can make your own web app with the Ethereum blockchain. Um, and this example has this box has an example of that later on. Um, so the next step is to run Truffle develop. So I'm going to run that. So Truffle develop. Um, this pretty much, Truffle has some commands, some of developments, and usually you have to prefix them with Truffle, so let's say um, Truffle compile. So usually if you don't go in the Truffle develop environment, you have to do Truffle compile some compile. You also notice that when I do this um, Truffle develop command, you see like there's these 10 accounts here and 10 private keys. So pretty much this is also nice because it's pretty much create a local uh, blockchain environment that has accounts and therefore since you're doing solidity testing or theorem testing, you can test like transactions between the accounts. It's all free, it's all local, it's all big data, so you don't have to worry about making a mistake and accidentally losing like thousands or whatever dollars using real money. Okay. Um, so we're going to do compile and migrate. So first, I'll just run the compile commands. Compile. And while that's working, I'll just show you the project a little bit. So this is the Truffle project. And there's some of these um, folders are kind of common. So let's go through them one by one. Let's start with this contracts folder. This contracts folder holds your Solidity files. And right here, you'll see four contracts, complex storage, migration, simple storage, tutorial token. Um, I'll just show for this example, I'll just mention two of them. Simple storage is a pretty standard, um, well, it's a really basic contract. It just pretty much holds an integer. So the store data, it lets you set that, the value of that store data. Um, and then the shuffle token, which is this other contract, um, has a bunch of values, has an initial supply of like 12,000. Um, but what's interesting about it is that it, it I'm using Java terminology, but it kind of extends this ERC um, twenty um, file. 
and you'll see that it imports from this opens up learning contracts token ERC20, ERC20 soul. Um, and if, you don't, if you're not familiar with ERC20, ERC20 is pretty much a standard for coins, and it defines a lot of common rules of all Ethereum tokens, such as like how tokens can be transferred, how transactions are approved, how users can access data of a token, and how it's, and the total supply of tokens. Um, if you're interested in that, you can like read some of the code here, and I'll have it like it linked in the description. But like pretty much, you can do a lot of transaction stuff out of the box if you just extend this contract. Um, if you're familiar with inheritance, that's basically what we're doing. Object oriented programming terms. Okay, I'm gonna go back to here, and then right down here, you'll see that it did a bunch of compiling. So it compiled our four contracts. Um, also compiled the related external contracts that ERC20 related itself, and it says everything's successful. Okay, cool. So now we're going to do a smart grid command. And then while that's loading, I'm just going to go to the next folder. So I'm going to close the simple storage and tutorial token, and I'm going to collapse a few of these things. Okay, so next we're looking at this migrations folder has this initial migration and deploy contracts. Pretty much uh, when you make a contract, it has to be deployed onto the blockchain clients. Um, typically it's pretty standard how you do this. Um, you specify the contract name, so migrations are sold to all of our contracts. So we write this line, um, artifacts are acquired migrations, and then if you're familiar with Node or whatever, or JavaScript, um, this is all like JavaScript code. Um, there's this deploy commands. So contract name, eight deploy it. That's basically what's going on here. Um, this first file deploys this one contract, and then the next file does the same thing with the second, third, and fourth contract. So that's all it's doing. And then if you look at these commands over here, um, we'll just scroll up a bit and see what happens. So it says compiling your contracts, um, and then it's deploying the contracts, and there's some output here. Um, so let's see, some interesting ones was like the amount of gas used, because deploying contracts will cost money. Um, obviously, this isn't real money, but in this particular case, it would have told you that it would cost 0 0.003 Ethereum, and Ethereum is getting pretty expensive, so you might want to like be careful when you deploy contracts. But pretty much to tell you the cost of each contract, um, this was the cost of the first migration file, and then for the second migration file, these are the costs of the individual contracts, and then the total was 0 0.04 Ethereum, and then the final cost of everything was 0 0.05. Okay, so that's the migrate command. All right, and then I told you that we're using Drizzle here, and the point of Drizzle is to run a React app. So I'm gonna run that first, and I'll show you how it works. Um, so I'm going to go to a new window for do go to our app folder and I'm going to do npm run start. Okay, and that's going to take some time to load. So I'm going to close these two migration files that I already explained. And oh, right now it switched to Chrome and it's starting to load our web page. Um, Okay, so let's collapse some of this. All right, so a lot of the JavaScript code is in our app folder. Um, and we're just gonna go do a couple of files. So our source folder has a lot of the source code. Our JavaScript and CSS files, I guess maybe HTML, I don't see any. Um, but two things would be, um, if you're familiar with React, um, this should be pretty familiar to you. Um, so there's you have to define this app um, and there's a bunch of drizzle commands in there. Um, and this is a component inside. So React is made out of components. So you have to find the app um, and different components. I'm not going to go too deep into what's in this code right here. Uh, we'll just see what it looks like when it's deployed on the web page. Um, and here it is. So, by the way, I'll have a link in the description to a drizzle quick start page 
if you just want to see a more simpler example. But um, you'll see this active accounts. So I'll go back to terminal. And before when we did I think Truffle Develop, I told you that we had all these accounts set up for us. And this account right here matches the first account in this list. So I'm going to copy the second account for our test example. And it's telling you that you're starting with this amount of Ethereum. Okay. Um, so first of all, I told you about our simple storage class. Um, it's just storing some data for an integer. So simple storage, it's just pretty much storing the store data. And it's currently at 0, I'm going to set to 7 and do submit. And it updates to 7. Um, and I also told you we had a tutorial token file, which extends our ERC20 token. So I'm just going to send some money to another account. So let's just do 1,000. And then you'll see that the balance updates to 11,000. Um, so yeah, that's what this um, React app is doing. And if you want to see how it works, you can look at the code a little deeper. Um, it should be mostly in like the app code and the component code. All right. And let's just see. OK. But so it's, I told you that Truffle is meant for testing, though. So how do you actually test? So let's go back to here, which we're in our Truffle develop environment. And you'll know that because there's Truffle develop over here. And over here just gives you two different instructions depending on if you're in the, the environment or not. I am, so I'll just do test. So that's going to run. And I'm just going to show you some more files in here. So here, there's the test folder has two test files, simple storage js and test simple storage .sol. So essentially, your test files can be written in either JavaScript or Solidity. So it's just these are two different tests. And if you go back here, um, it's still running. Yeah. Okay. It finished running. It took 11 seconds. But yeah, it ran the code in test simple storage and this other um, simple storage file, and it finished. Everything is passing. And it works. Cool. Um, oh, and this is the output of the npm run start earlier, in case you're interested. It's running on IP address localhost 3000, your web app. Okay. Um, and then finally, there's also some testing for the JavaScript code itself. And you have to make sure you're inside the app directory. So I'm just going to make a new tab. Um, I am in the app directory. I'm going to run npm run test. And this is apparently using um, Jest, which is like JavaScript test, that framework. And some of the code in that for that is in your um, it's in your app, app.test.js. So it's pretty much running this code. That's what that test code is doing. And everything passed, it took about six seconds. So that's how you test your um, JavaScript code. Um, and finally, if you want to deploy your code to production, um, if you know about web programming, this should be pretty obvious. But you can run npm run build. So I'll just do that, and it'll create a build folder for me and some files inside. So I'm in my app folder, I'll do npm run build. Um, and then that should create a folder. Yeah, this build folder is currently creating. And okay, that's pretty much it. That was an introduction to Truffle, Drizzle, um, Truffle boxes, ERC2 tokens. Um, yeah, there's going to be more information in the links. Um, if you want to know about, more about Truffle, there's a Truffle Quick Start page, which goes through another box called Metacoin box. And it explains like some of what I explained already, like the contracts folder, migrations, tests. This Truffle JS configuration file um, goes through some of the contracts and it goes through some steps of how to test. And so that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you next time. In the meantime, take care and see ya.